Greg Trias, Scottsdale History Hall of Fame. Greg Trias is the owner of Greyhawk Development. He and his team have created several special areas in Scottsdale that have enhanced the city's economy, recreation, and quality of life. He's also a focused community leader, devoting countless hours to promoting sports, the arts, healthcare, and business leadership. Growing up in a family of five kids in Fargo, North Dakota, Greg was active in sports, especially golf. After graduating from Southern Methodist University with a major in real estate, he returned to Fargo to work on a real estate project with his father. He came to Arizona State University in 1980 to get his MBA and immediately knew he was here to stay. After working with a land syndicator for a year, he joined Tree Acre Realty in 1982, then started Greyhawk Development in 1984. His business at that time was land brokerage and small land syndications. He had the opportunity to meet and watch the successes of several Scottsdale developers, as well as golf pioneers, Jerry Nelson and Lyle Anderson. From the start, Greg conducted his business dealings with respect and integrity, building and honoring relationships and doing his homework. He attended countless zoning hearings and city council meetings to better understand the challenges of developing land in Scottsdale. With this as his background, he successfully led a change in state law regarding holding leases and planning permits of state trust land. Preparation and patience resulted in the successful acquisition of the 1,600-acre, 5,000-lot Greyhawk community. With financial partner Sandy Chow of Taiwan, this would be his first development project. Fortunate to combine his passions for real estate and golf, Greg ensured that the two Greyhawk Championship daily fee courses were an asset to residents and tourists alike. The Thunderbirds and other golf organizations helped host significant tournaments at Greyhawk. The Anderson Consulting World Championship of Golf, the Tommy Bahama Challenge, and the Fries Open as well as PGA Junior League and, in 2020 to 2022, the NCAA Championships. All furthered Scottsdale's reputation as a stellar golf destination. In 1998, he acquired the land that became Whisper Rock Golf Club and Whisper Rock Estates. There, he pursued a different concept for golf, a true golfer's course, where membership was not tied to real estate. His latest Scottsdale project, however, doesn't include a golf course. He was privileged to have the opportunity to become a minority partner with nationwide realty investors in developing the 134-acre mixed-use Cabasson project in North Scottsdale. Greg has also been a consummate civic leader. As a Scottsdale Charo, he chaired the tennis, baseball, and membership committees, served as treasurer twice, and Patron, the group's president. He served as a past board member of the Arizona Golf Association, Junior Golf Association of Arizona, six years as president of ASU Athletic Foundation, and is currently spearheading efforts to build the Arizona Golf Alliance. He also heads the foundation that repositioned and rebuilt the Papago Golf Course. He has served on the boards of the Scottsdale Healthcare Foundation, Scottsdale Industrial Development Authority, Boys and Girls Club of Scottsdale, and Scottsdale Cultural Council, as well as numerous regional civic, charitable, governmental, business, and educational organizations. Greg and his wife Sally have two sons, Taylor and Connor, daughter-in-law Abby, and two grandchildren. Both of his sons work with Greg at their Scottsdale office. They enjoy traveling, skiing, and of course, golf. Greg credits his parents for instilling a value system that has helped him succeed in life. He believes strongly in doing what you say you're going to do, conducting business with honesty and integrity, and using time and patience as allies, not obstacles. Residents, businesses, and golfers salute Greg Trias for creating some of their favorite places in Scottsdale and for being a thoughtful, generous contributor and conscientious leader to our community.